Hello, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is another Perfume Empties video. And uh, so without any delay, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start with the first fragrance here is Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. I had included this in a haul earlier this summer and I didn't have a lot of good things to say about it. I said that it was just kind of a boring and I didn't understand the hype. Well, after I gave it several really good thorough wears, and obviously look at how well I wore it. I, I went through the bottle, and not only that, but I went out and bought three backup bottles. I was wrong about Lovely. This is actually Lovely, and it is very much worth the hype. And my first impression was incorrect, and that happens sometimes. And this is really, really beautiful. It's very feminine. It's a very clean white musk without being soapy. So uh, it's also not sweet. It's lightly floral. It, it performs beautifully six to eight hours. Uh, you can overspray it. It never overwhelms. It's hard to imagine anyone disliking it. Yes, I did get some compliments on it. My husband really especially liked it. My mother even liked it, and she really doesn't like a lot of the perfumes that I wear. Uh, this, but it's really, really lovely, and it's worth every penny. Um, when I bought three bottles on eBay, I want to say it the price came down to almost $15 a bottle, which is just a steal for such a beautiful fragrance. From what I understand, this is a dupe of Narciso Rodriguez. That is a perfume that's too expensive for me. I don't spend that kind of money on perfumes, generally speaking. Um, but anyway, if you like that sort of thing, I'm going to firmly give this a recommendation. And uh, again, this is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. Next up, I have a scent by Issey Miyake. This is actually a perfume that's very close to Crystal by Chanel. Uh, I have did a video a while back comparing these two and I thoroughly gave my opinions and my opinion hasn't changed. I love both of these fragrances. They are cousins. They're not sister and brother or sisters in my opinion. Uh, Crystal is, is obviously a hundred and 110 $120 a bottle. A scent is probably less than a third of that. They are both aldehydic uh, with a oak moss kind of a very sparkling citrus fragrance. They are very fresh, very minimalistic, very classy, very classy. This is like money in a bottle, uh, in my opinion. A scent is beautiful. It's a little more green than Cristal is, uh, but I'd say in terms of their um, bergamot and citrus touches, they're very equal. They're equally citrus. Cristal has more oak moss. A scent has a little more green notes to it, but it, I would not classify it as a green. I would say it's more of a fresh fragrance with the green notes. Uh, beautiful, long-lasting, classy, and I bought a backup bottle, and it's huge. I don't have it here to show you, but it, it's huge. This is a 100 mil, and I got a, I think it's a 200 mil bottle, just an enormous bottle, and I, I spent like $80 on it, um, but in my opinion, well worth it, and I will definitely wear the heck out of it. All right, I think I'm going on a little too long. You can tell it's summer because a lot of the fragrances I'm wearing are very light, musky fragrances. This is Noah by Cacherelle. This is a very clean white musk. This is very much a woody fragrance. So I would say it's white musk first, woody second. It reminds me a lot of that Santel 33. Uh, I've never owned that, but I have sampled it. I have smelled it before. It's got a lot of that uh, quality to it of being a, um, oh, I forget the name of the word. Um, there's a word for the chemical in that causes the woody note. Um, and I can't remember it. I'm sure you guys, you know, put it in the comments if you remember, because I totally forgot it. Anyway, my mind isn't quite uh, fully uh, functioning today. So beautiful sprayer, beautiful fragrance, very minimalistic. If you want to smell great, 
clean and you're kind of into that clean, fresh lady kind of vibe, but you don't want to smell like perfume, this is definitely, definitely going to be right up your alley. Long lasting, projects beautifully, but very softly, never overwhelms. Just a gorgeous fragrance for year round. This is office safe, but I would not wear this in perfume free zones. And um, just absolutely lovely. Highly recommend. Next up, I have a fragrance. It's called Wash Washa. And this is just a 30 ml bottle by Latafa. And um, I bought it just because it was very, in the cap is broken. So that's why I'm holding it on there. I bought this just because it was very inexpensive and, and I felt like taking a chance. I probably just felt like buying a perfume and this was on my list and it was inexpensive so I tried it. This is just a very generic fruity floral. The juice that you can't see because it's empty is pink. Oh, there's the front of the bottle. Sorry, I was holding it backwards. Um, this has got good performance. It's just a very plain fruity floral. It's not as sweet as... Uh, fantasy. Fantasy is always, in my mind, is kind of the hallmark sweet fragrance. Um, that and pink sugar is definitely not that sweet. It's a bit more floral, but I'd say it's 50% sweet, 50% floral. Um, not particularly fruity, but it's a very sweet floral. It's very pretty, and it's very inexpensive, but it's not um, particularly memorable. All right. And then I have exclamation. I know I've covered this several times on my channel before. This is just a beautiful fruity amber fragrance. Amber is really what's featured here. That's number one. It's the fruit note in here that's most prominent is peach. This is like a peachy amber. That's how I would describe this. It is sexy. It's beautiful. Don't let this tacky bottle scare you off or fool you. This is absolutely classy, beautiful, smells expensive, does not smell cheap, but however, its cost is cheap. You can get these easily under $20. Um, and I like to just take the cap off and throw it in my purse or my bag. It's uh, very portable, absolutely gorgeous, long-lasting. This was formulated by Sophia Grosman, so I wouldn't thumb your nose at it because this is one of her best sellers of all time. This is a lot like what the hallways of my 1980s high school smelled like. A lot of the girls were wearing this. I was not wearing it, but it seemed like every other girl was. So anyway, if you know, I highly recommend this. Just absolutely gorgeous. This is a forever perfume um, that I would never want to be without. All right. I have a sample bottle of Rogue. I hauled this a while back. I bought this tiny little bottle because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Found that I do like it. It has It's unique because it's a suede uh, note that's included here. It's basically a very classy white musky floral with a suede note in the background. Very tastefully done. Uh, long lasting, really nice projection. Very inexpensive. I gotta hand it to Rihanna. I don't know if she, you know, wears this herself, but I would definitely picture her wearing this. It's really that nice. Very, very pretty. Okay, I have a few left. I'm gonna try to get through them all. Casual by Paul Sebastian. This is a very clean white musk. It's very dry. It smells a lot like hyacinth. I mostly wear this because it's great in the summer. This is a heat performer. So it's dry white floral featuring hyacinth, white musk, clean, slightly soapy, very, very ladylike, very gorgeous, very inexpensive. Again, this is Casual by Paul Sebastian. All right. I, next, I have Alfred Sung Forever. This is very much like Casual. These are very similar. They are the same vibe. They're different, but they're white. They're both white florals with white musk. Very dry fragrances, very ladylike, very universal. Great for summer, especially in humidity and high heat. Uh, this perfume just performs and sings, and I really, really enjoyed it. 
Alfred, uh, again, I just, I, I want to repeat, because I know when other people don't repeat it again, it's hard for me to remember. Alfred sung forever. All right, I have, I don't know how to pronounce this. Jaipur uh, by Boucheron. I was expecting this to perform because Boucheron is a really good French perfume house. It does not perform. This is supposed to be kind of a tropical floral. Uh, it's very boring, very generic floral fragrance. doesn't last. Not very expensive, and the reason why is because it doesn't perform. Cannot recommend it. And I have one more. And this is a body spray, and I'm not going to go on and on about this because this is number two, Brazilian Crush by Chirosa, Sol de Janeiro. Very well known. Everyone knows this one. You pick these up. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. This is the 62, the most popular pistachio salted caramel. Um, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This performs better than most EDPs. It's just... It's just sweetness and everything lovely in a bottle. And I have the Bum Bum Cream as well. To wear the two together is just pure luxury. Just absolute sweet summer luxury. By the time I got done with the um, this bottle, I was a little sick of it, though. I was a little over it. But I'll definitely repurchase, but in a smaller bottle. And um, there are 8,000 reviews of this on um, YouTube, so I'm not going to waste your time. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.